That one in five teachers want to quit in this state. One in three would urge their bright students to avoid the teaching profession. West Bureau reporter Mike Lawrence is live at the Middlesex News in Framingham with details. There's a lot of ramifications with unhappy teachers, Mike. As you know, Dion is a former teacher. A Lewis Harris poll this week is calling it a national hemorrhage of good teachers quitting the profession. And there is a surprising example here in the Metro West. A Wellesley High School teacher who is proof that the problem goes much deeper than just salary. 15-year teaching veteran Martha Fisk, honored at the White House last year. She makes $36,000, more than most teachers. She's walking away from the profession without another job, and doing so not quietly but loudly so folks will listen. Our future's at stake. Now, this is high risk for me, uh, but I, I just don't plan to go to work for the rest of my life in some place that's making me as unhappy as I have become because of the state of teaching in this country, even in towns that it can afford to turn it around. At the Massachusetts Teachers Association, they warn Martha Fisk is a sign of things to come, not an exception. No, Mike, she's not an aberration at all. 20% of the teachers who are teaching right now would leave tomorrow if they had the opportunity to do it. Even in Wellesley, one of the state's most prestigious school districts, money isn't enough to make up for the problems teachers like Martha Fisk find at their feet. Problems that were spotlighted in the new Massachusetts teachers survey. Most often mentioned a lack of public respect for teachers as professionals. Second, students who are disinterested, uncooperative. Third, pressure to produce better results with bigger classes and fewer resources. Only fourth are salaries mentioned. Teachers are voting with their feet and the consequences are expected to be seen in less than five years. We have a, an aging workforce a workforce that would love to get out. We have a youth that does not want to enter the profession. So we have an enormous gap and the brightest and the talented not entering the, the, the teaching profession and educating our youth. And it's going to have incredible ramifications for the state of Massachusetts. One more reason to be concerned that Harris